Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to explain the uh, kinematics equation for uh, differential drive. It's a very simple robot which has uh, two wheels and these wheels can rotate independent of each other with, with uh, different speed. So if the wheels rotate in different speed, uh, the robot can uh, go either straight or turn. So let's see the equation. Uh, so suppose this is your robot, uh, it is here in the pose X and Y, and this is the uh, heading of the robot, this is a frame which is attached to the robot, and this is your uh, work coordinate system. So the pose of the robot is X, Y with heading theta. Uh, the wheels uh, turn at different speeds, so the robot ends up a uh, new position, X prime, Y prime, and theta prime. I think it's this way. So uh, <clears throat> if you uh, draw a line uh, in that goes through the robot uh, from the first position to the second position, you can find a uh, point ca ca called ICC or instantaneous center of uh, curvature or rotation, which uh, you can imagine the robot has been actually was turning around this point. So let's find a uh, parameter. We have uh, R, which is the uh, radius for this rotation, and uh, theta and theta prime. So uh, the length of our robot is L. Uh, the right wheel will turn with uh, VR, velocity of right wheel, and left one. Uh, so uh, we know that velocity is equal to um, radius multiplied by omega so for the right wheel it's going to be uh, r plus l over 2 and for the left one r minus l2 if we uh, add and subtract these two equations we can get these two new equations which get uh, get rid of r or uh, l in each one of them so the radius for this uh, ICC is uh, velocity of the right wheel plus left one multiplied by L, which is the size of the robot, divided by two. Okay, so uh, let's find the uh, position of the robot and heading uh, based on the uh, previous position. So, uh, as we can see here, uh, the Position of ICC is in this triangle. Uh, if uh, if you imagine this uh, triangle, this angle is theta. This is a complement, so this is gonna be uh, half a pi minus theta. So this is gonna be cosine of uh, this angle, which is uh, pi half minus uh, theta, and it's gonna be the sine of this angle. So the uh, x uh, of this point of our uh, ICC gonna be position of the robot minus uh, r cosine of uh, uh, half pi minus theta and the y of ICC gonna be y of our robot plus this distance which is a uh, uh, sine of this uh, angle which uh, we can write it as uh, sine of theta and cosine of theta. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> we can imagine our uh, robot is turning around this point in this uh, frame. And we know that uh, uh, when we uh, rotate something around uh, a frame, uh, we have uh, this simple uh, 2D rotation model, cosine, minus sine, sine, cosine. So we are uh, rotating this point in this frame. Uh, we have to write the uh, pose of the robot in the ICC frame, which is going to be uh, x and y minus uh, x and y of ICC. So this is the pose of the robot in the uh, ICC frame. x and y are pose of the robot in the uh, world coordinate system. And uh, if we add uh, 
this uh, distance, the pose of the ICC in the work coordinate, we can get the uh, pose of the robot X prime and Y prime actually in the work coordinate. So X prime and Y prime are the position of the robot in the work coordinate. Okay, so uh, because uh, we also looking for uh, theta prime, the new heading, we can uh, add another line to the equation and uh, put the theta here and one here. And uh, we know that we were rotating with uh, angular velocity of omega and for delta t, which I uh, put it here for rotation. So uh, let's uh, plot this equation there to see what we get. If we plot this equation all together and uh, multiply this term by this term and this term by this term, uh, we can get uh, this. And uh, we know that uh, this is actually uh, sine of theta plus omega delta theta and also this term is a cosine of that. So uh, the new pose of the robot in the world coordinate system x prime y prime is equal to uh, uh, sine and cosine of theta plus uh, omega delta theta plus uh, uh, x minus r sine of theta and y r cosine of theta. So if I add this term to this term, I can get find the uh, pose of the robot uh, in the world coordinate system based on the uh, uh, angle that we have rotate the robot, which is uh, this one.